Hey YouTube, in this video, I want to show you how by leveraging my credit, I will never pay the full amount of sales tax here in the state of New Jersey. In fact, I'll never pay the full amount of sales tax in any state, all right? And this is why. So first of all, keep this in mind. I live in New Jersey and in New Jersey, the sales tax is 6.625%. No matter what I shop, like where I shop at, what I eat, <laughs> what, what, Every time I spend money to buy anything, there's a 6.625% sales tax here in New Jersey. I wanna go across the street from my office and get some proven food, 6.625% sales tax. I wanna go down the street and get something else. I wanna to go to Willowbrook Mall, not too far away from here. I wanna buy anything here in New Jersey. It's, there's a 6.625% sales tax. Imagine that. You pay $100 for something, you're really not paying 100 bucks. You're paying $106 and a few cents, right? 60 cents, something like that. Now, uh, how is it that I do not pay the full amount of taxes? This is how. My credit score is not, it's, it's, it's good, but when it wasn't that good, I was still able to get this PayPal MasterCard, all right? And what I did over here is just some simple mathematics, right? So with my PayPal MasterCard, I pretty much buy everything under the sun. Everything that I buy, I always use this. I am that guy, all right, that goes and buys, let's say, $2 worth of something. And I ask the cashier or whoever's at the cash register, hey, is there a fee if I use my credit card? And if they say no, I use the card. Yes, I am that guy, and I see sometimes people behind me in the line kind of like, all right, like, like, don't you have $2? Well, I, I do have the $2, but if I can use this and save some money, I'll save the money. Now, it's become a habit already, and you know what? We all have habits, right? Whether they're productive or destructive ones, I mean, it just depends on the habit. I have this habit. I always use this card for every single purchase that I make. I don't use them always, by the way, uh, at a gasoline station because, um, and I, th I think I mentioned this in, in another video, you know, sometimes you go to a gas station and it says, you know, $3.20 if you use a credit card or $3 if you use cash. Well, the math doesn't make sense. I'd rather just use the cash, all right, because $3.20 is actually a, uh, I would say another, 10 percent no not even actually yeah like a little under 10 percent of an increase from the three dollars so it wouldn't make sense using this because um i i i i lose money right because this only gives me two percent i don't say it only gives me two percent but in comparison to the 20 cents uh that i would be uh saving you know it doesn't make any sense but for everything else i use it right so for example i'll give you an example So you see this? I bought this today, earlier today, about maybe five hours ago. And uh, the Snickers that I'm halfway done with and the Starburst, which I saw it and I, I wanted to buy it. I, I, you know, it's not for me, it's for my kids, okay? But um, this cost me $4.50. And I bought it uh, about, two, about 100 feet away from here. There's a liquor store. And I know that they do not charge a credit card fee. So what did I do? I gave them my credit card, all right? Now, could I have given them cash? Yeah, but you know what? I'm not gonna do it because if I know that I can save at least 2% just from that purchase, I'm gonna do it, all right? Now, it's, once again, it's a habit that I just, after years and years and years of just doing it and just making sense and saying, you know what? I gotta pay this anyway, no, no matter what. And for example, like if I go to, and I was just at, in Mississippi about a month, month and a half ago, over there it's 7%, right? So I would have to pay more sales tax. So when I stayed at a hotel over there and I made some purchases, I paid 7%, all right? Remember people, you have to make these payments no matter what. You have to pay ta these sales taxes when you buy anything, all right? So you might as well just leverage your credit to get a discount so you don't have to pay the full sales tax. Now, one of your questions may be, well, Robert, my credit isn't good enough. Guess what, people? Your credit doesn't have to be great. 
It just has to be good enough, all right? It doesn't have to be great enough. It has to be good enough for you to get one of these cards. So I'm gonna go over these cards right now, right? So the first one, um, I use this whenever I can use these other ones, all right? So if I go to uh, like, like let's say shop, right? Or once again, like the liquor store right down the street uh, or across the street if I wanna you know, get some proof or even at the Columbia place. Um, or I don't know, if I go uh, to Applebee's with my family, right? I use this card. Why do I use this card? Because I can't use my Target card over there, right? Why do I use my Target card when I go to Target, which I really don't go there often? Because it's 5% off. Now, my wife goes there. In fact, she was there today. Uh, my nephews are visiting, and uh, I think she wanted to buy water balloons uh, for the kids and like other things for the kids as well, because it's a nice day today. And so she went to Target, because that right at this moment, that's the only place to buy those those items. But one of the habits that she has is, you know, she uses the Target card. So, you know, now uh, she's really not paying, you know, when she went to the cash register, whatever it came out to, it came out to times the 6.625%, but she got 5% off. So she's really only paying the sales tax of 1.625% instead of this amount. Why? Because we're leveraging our credit to get 5% off. All right. Now, when I got this card years ago, all right, uh, my my credit once again wasn't as great as as it is right now. It was just good enough where Target said, "Hey, here's a line of credit." I think they gave me maybe like I think right now it's like at twenty seven hundred dollars. They have not increased since you know since I don't know why they're really one of the only credit cards that haven't increased my my line of credit, but. I don't need more than 2,700 bucks, all right? Once I make, like once we uh, spend on, on anything, once anything is, is purchased, what do I do? Two days later, I go online and I make the payment. So instead of paying cash at the cash register at Target, all right, I might as well just use this card, get 5% off, and then bam. So in other words, if I'm ready with $100 of cash in hand at Target, all right, instead of doing that, I use this card, I wait a few days, all right, I go online, and instead of paying 100 bucks, I pay $95, and it comes right from my, um, uh, for, from my checking account. Actually, I don't pay the $95. What I, what I do, what happens is that after the month is over, all right, and, and uh, uh, my, uh, and then I get a statement, all right, it says, okay, so like, let's say it's 100 bucks even, It'll say, okay, you, you owe us 95 bucks, all right? And I pay that within 30 days so that, you know, so, and I never pay the minimum, right? I always pay whatever it is that I owe. Why? Because I was going to do it anyway, right? I was going to, I was going to pay in cash at the cash register. So I might as well just pay here. But once their cycle is over and they're like, okay, you owe us, you know, instead of hundred bucks, 95 bucks, I get it all done. It's, it's, it's over, right? I pay it, right? Now, why do I not want to make the minimum payment? Because this is how Target is like any other credit card. It's a business, right? You know, because what's going to happen is if I, you know, make the minimum payment, like let's say it's 25 bucks, right? You know, then I would have a $70 balance, but then that's when I get um, interest, all right? And that interest is, I think with Target, it's like a little over 20%, all right? Now, if I start paying interest on that, this whole thing doesn't work. It doesn't work at all, okay? Because I'm not saving the 5% anymore, right? Like I'm not saving, I'm not really paying the sales tax of 1.625%. I'm paying a lot more now because now I have to pay, you know, a little over 20% interest on the 75, on the $70 balance, okay? So, but that's why I pay everything. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, people, is because every time I go to, whether it's, ShopRite, Applebee's, you know, whatever, Target, Home Depot. I have other credit cards right now that I, but I just don't have them available. Is that I see people pay cash and cash. I mean, yes, I get it. You want to pay in cash. What I'm really recommending is to build this habit, all right? Because it's not just money save. It's not just a money saving habit. Once again, we all have habits, right? 
why not just make one of your habits one that's not just money saving, but also money producing, right? The money is working for you. The one that is in your bank account right now, that's probably, and hopefully not, in a checking account that is not generating any income, it's just sitting there, okay? You might as well you know, have it work for you in this way. And once again, it's just by leveraging credit, all right? So I got all these credit cards, except for this one. I just got this one back in September. And this is a business card, all right? This is for one of my businesses. Uh, I was able to get a credit card. So I get 2% off of this. I got my Target one 5% off and the Home Depot one 5%. So as you can see, all I did was 6.625% minus 2% equals 4.625%. So what I'm effectively doing is paying only a 4.625% sales tax whenever I purchase anything, anything at all. But when I go to Home Depot, I am only paying a 1.625% sales tax here in the state of New Jersey. Okay, in California, I just found out the sales tax is 7.25%. In Connecticut, it's 6.35%. I just also found out in Puerto Rico, it's an 11.5% sales tax, all right? <laughs> this would be wonderful over there. I mean, you could use them over there. See, that's the thing, like, you could use that over there, all right? Uh, it's not considered like an international, uh, what is it, like usage, right? Like if I go to Spain, you know, I would not use these cards. It doesn't make any sense to use these cards because there's a fee that's going to be um, attached to it. And, you know, it, it's, it's just not going to make any sense. Um, so, you know, find out what your sales, I mean, there's some, find out what your sales tax is in your states and see how you can be in that category of people who never pay the full amount of sales tax. So which category do you want to be in? Do you want to be in the category of people who never pay the full sales tax of your state? Or do you want to be in the category of people who's always paying the sales for the full amount of sales tax in your respective state? Okay. And then there's other states as well where there are no sales tax. Can you imagine that? All right. Can you imagine that? Whatever it is that you're paying, whatever it is that you're buying, you're getting discounted already, right? So in some of these states where there's no sales tax, if you use your Home Depot card there, you're getting literally like, you're buying everything for less than what it's being sold for to you. I mean, that's that's amazing, okay? So people, give me a ring. Call me, ask me how you can enhance your credit so that you could qualify. If you don't qualify for that, you may even qualify right now. You know, many of the people who I meet who come over here to the office, they are almost scared to check their credit report, right? Uh, it's almost like they have cancer and they don't want to know about it. And, you know, like, <laughs> I know, you know, sometimes, you know, people who are sick, they're like, oh, I don't want to know that I'm sick. But you go to the doctor, you got to find out what's wrong with you. I've had people come in there, they're like, oh, man, you know, I got, I know what's going to come up. It's going to be collections or it's going to be this and that. We check their credit. I'm like, dude, there's no collections. Your credit score is like at 710, 720. Right, and you have no inquiries. You have no hard inquiries whatsoever in the last, you know, well, obviously, like in the last two years, you have you have nothing. Let's apply for a credit card. All right. I mean, it's it's if if it does any damage to your credit report, maybe it's gonna be like a few points that is gonna go down, but maybe not. But guess what? Your your score is high enough where you can qualify for these cards. Okay. And they may not give you a huge line of credit, but at least you could start somewhere, okay? So Target may give you 500 bucks, but you know what? If you shop at Target all the time, hey, utilize your credit, utilize this card to get money back, to put money in your pocket. And I'm saying this, especially nowadays, people, because what is it, the beginning of June, 2021, and you know, I hear that there's, you know, there's, and there's always gonna be people who are, you know, having a difficult time with finances, all right? You may not know this, but, but you may be able to get some of these cards. If you just want to find out, all right, give me a ring, all right, stop by over here. We can even do it over the phone where I can check your credit report. It's not going to hurt your credit at all, all right? And as I mentioned in other videos too, you know, I do this at no cost to you whatsoever, okay? What I do ask is that you please subscribe to this channel, 
okay? And tell other people about this channel as well because I do really want to educate others on how to, you know, how, like how to have people uh, uh, utilize their credit, okay? I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, the reason why I want to share this with, with the world is because it's helped me so much. I mean, so much. I mean, I, I, I do real estate and every now and then I do a few projects. And I mean, you know, if, if there's a project and I know that there's, uh, you know, like let's say $25,000 worth of materials that I need for a project, I'm using this. I'm, I'm using this. I have a $10,000 line of credit here. Okay, so that $25,000 budget just went down. What's 5% of $25,000? I don't know how my calculator, but what is it? Uh, I don't know, probably like a thousand bucks. No, 500, wait, 10,000 is 500, a thousand. Yeah, so like a little over, you know, $1,000, $1,500, right? Something like that, or $1,250 that now I can utilize for something else, right? I mean, money's mo money is money is money right okay I, I tell i ask people often i'm like look uh whether you know it doesn't matter you know where you find a bar of gold a bar of gold is a bar of gold right you're walking down the street you see a dollar on the floor on the ground you're gonna pick it up you're not just gonna walk by it and be like you know what it's only a dollar i mean it's not even worth it it's not worth my time whatever you see two dollars you better believe it. you see ten dollars you better believe it multiply that by whatever amount you want to this is the money that you are leaving on the ground but not by not utilizing your credit okay give me a ring okay you can stop by my office we can set up an appointment stop by my office or do something over the phone or do something on zoom i would be more than happy to help you out all right i am so overjoyed sometimes when you know people come in here and i've had people sit down over here uh, a few like if uh, I was uh, teaching them like the most I've ever had here was six people and they all sat down and I'm going over everything and uh, you know we checked one person's credit report and then we looked at the things I needed to get done and people understood and they're like oh wow and all of them they're working on their credit right now all right and I'm helping them along the way all right I'm not you know just holding their hand but I, you know if they have any questions they hit me up they text me or they call me and sometimes it's like a 30 second conversation. Sometimes they come over here, you know, uh, you know, and once again, all I ask from everybody is to just subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, because I'm gonna make more of these videos and hopefully they will help you out, all right? So Rob Savori and 908-432-2526. Call me anytime, all right? Thanks a lot.